welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to issue credit memo for overpayment in quickbooks let's begin okay so the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in quickbooks just find a plan that's right for you and from here all you have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions and you are all set okay so issuing a credit memo for overpayment in quickbooks is very important for a lot of reasons because it ensures that your customer's account accurately reflects the overpayment now in turn it helps maintain accurate financial records and prevents discrepancies in your accounts receivable now issuing a credit memo provides transparency to your customers by clearly documenting the overpayment and the adjustment made to their account it also demonstrates your commitment to fair and honest billing practices in my case in the past Issuing a credit memo promptly shows your customers that you value their business and you are proactive in resolving any billing issues. It can enhance customer satisfaction and strengthen relationships with your customers. For us to be able to do that, it's a straightforward process. The first step is we need to apply the credit to an invoice. Now, you need to go to the left side panel of your dashboard now my interface might be different from what you have but obviously you just need to go to new and click on receive payment under customers and from here all you have to do is select the customer and then the credit and the invoice Now from here, all you have to do is just put the amount that you wanted to uh, apply the credit. Say for example, um, is it going to be um, $100, $1,000? It doesn't matter, but for uh, the, uh, you will need to deduct the amount. Say you'll be um, having a refund or a credit to like $20 out of the $100. And from here, you can add some um, information like a short memo or a message right here. And you can also drag and drop files. But be mindful that the uh, file limit is 20 MB. And if that's okay, just click on save and close. All right. Now, the next step is once that's um, done, all right, all you have to do is click on X, all right. And then you need to go to new and click on invoice and obviously from here you can simply create a new invoice or just click the customer if that's what you wanted but for in my case i'm gonna choose the customer And then just uh, let them know that they're going to be receiving the uh, payment. All right. Just choose the product. Say, for example, this is going to be a uh, received payment. And save and close. Right. It's, it's a very straightforward process. Now if you wanted to set up customer credits to apply to future payments by default you need to go to the upper right corner of your dashboard and click on account and settings and from here all you have to do is go to the advanced section and go to automations now as you can see there's a pre-fill forms with previously entered content and from here, all they have to do is click on the pencil icon right here. Select edit and automatically apply credits. All right. It's a very straightforward process. And I believe that's how you issue credit memo for overpayment in QuickBooks. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.